Well, we're in the consolation round, Dick, but I don't think you're going to see any of these players letting up at all. Not at all, Brad. These kids came here to play basketball, and that is what they're going to do. Both sides are going to have to fight for the win today. I'm Brad Nessler alongside Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. There's a look, Dick, at the starting lineups. Good shooters are hard to come by, but we have two tonight. If they both start heating up, Brad, we may see some fireworks. All ten players are set, and now for the tip. And with a tip of the ball, the game begins. Here's a double team. And the ball's out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. Inbound from the baseline. Loose ball and batted in. The guy was open, but he's a fan. Number four sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. Jumper. Nails a sweet jumper. Running that Princeton offense here. I tell you, Brad, that Princeton offense utilizes the high post exceptionally well. You cut off that high post, you get great motion, you make sure you have movement. The key to any offense is movement without the basketball. If you got movement without the basketball, you're going to get good shots. Both teams looking to get things going here. Look at that spacing. And it's heading out of bounds. No, great save. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And gets it to fall. Looking to move it around the perimeter. have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. Hill. It's inferior plays. Really affecting his composure now. Things aren't coming easy for him. With a rejection. Plus the J. When you can pass and score like he does, it makes a coach's job a little bit easier, wouldn't you say, Dick? What's great about him is his ability to pass and score. It's a skill that not enough guards have. As a coach, you love having this type of player on your roster. Working it around the perimeter. Now on the run. Number 13 picks up the foul. And there's a look at the young freshman. You know, playing at this level can be a tough adjustment for some kids. Others make the jump with these. It all depends on what kind of team you have around you and how hard you are willing to work to get better. Makes the second. Looking for a good shot. That's a foul. That layup will count for two, plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball, going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He sinks it. They've got him right where they want him, Dick. The Hoyas have a player spotting up on the three. Momentary look from three-point land.
He tries the jumper. Excellent jump shot right there. Ali receives the pass. Trying to go inside. The freshman commits a turnover. Gave it up. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Fed the low block. In the lane. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And it's knocked away. Great block. The Hoyas with the push. They work the perimeter. Foul charge. Number 44 goes to the line for the first time. First shot is good. Second shot is no good. On the outside. With the J. Can't connect. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He fires away. Can't get the shot to drop. Cross court. He shoots the jumper. Jumper won't go. They got the offensive rebound and the stick back. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Takes the jumper. Nails the jumper. Here they come on the break. Looking for a good shot. He goes up with it. Knocked it down. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The small forward handles the feed. For two, buried it. As we continue to track the game's tempo. Well, Brad, as the meter indicates, the game has been pretty balanced in terms of tempo. Some short possessions and a few longer ones. Nice pass to the low block. He buries the shot. Goes up for two. Scorches the net with a J. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gave it up. Fires away. Missed the jumper. Way out on the right wing for the bucket. Off the glass and no good. The shooting guard with the ball. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Nails the sweet jumper. They'll work it around the arc. Puts up the J. Scores it. He 
He strokes it. Doesn't go. They work it around the perimeter. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Off the mark. That's good. Dumps it in. He puts up the J. Knocks it down. On the outside. Tries for two. Oh, yes. A great backdoor pass right there, Dick. It's great seeing those types of plays. That's team basketball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And the fans love it, man. They love it. Our house, baby, our house. They move it into the front court. He just can't escape the pressure. What a great defensive trap there. They work it around the perimeter. Had his shot rejected. Moving it around the perimeter. The Hoyas roster includes a number of skilled freshmen. Matt, a sign of a good program is their recruiting class. This team did a great job in signing these budding stars. On the dribble, gives it up. Shoots from the deep corner and come up short. Number 13 receives the ball. Number 44 with the foul. The layup's good and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration. Taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to have to. Here's another solid junior, Dick. You know, by the time you're a junior, you know what your coach expects from you. It's a matter of bringing it every day. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Up and inside! away and he missed gave it up both teams are looking to get something going here down inside he attempts the jump shot excellent jump shot right there Basic. 
And now there's a whistle of the foul. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets it. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Both free throws go. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Blocked. Nice job defensively. Looking to move it around the perimeter. For the bucket. There was no doubt about that one. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Jumper, the missed shot. Number four receives the ball. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Got it in the low block with the jumper. Gets the J to fall. Now they work it around the perimeter. Shoots from outside. Scorches the net with a J. Frustration right there. They go into the low block. We're at the seven minute mark. Out on the right wing. He tries the jumper. Nails a sweet jumper. The Hoyas are getting some great opportunities to score when they get the ball in the high post. You know, it's a good offense when you can position a player at the high post and then have the ball delivered to a scoring threat. Working it around the perimeter. Puts up the jumper. They get it to go. With anticipation defensively. Riley handles the feed. Goes up with a shot. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. We're at the six minute mark. Way out on the right wing. Let's watch the move as he works his man and out of fadeaway jumper. There may be a pick and roll here, Dick. You've got to love the pick and roll, especially when it's run to perfection, Brad. On the wing. Tries for two. Goes in. He can't stay with him. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. They look to get it to the inside. The senior commits a turnover. Here they go in transition. Looking for a good shot. About five minutes remaining in the game clock. Nice shot. Now that was a great play right there, Dick. Anytime you get a player in a high post, you put pressure on the defense. And that can lead to big breaks over the course of the game. Missed it. Obvious foul. He'll go to the line. It goes in. Got a move. Oh, he 
drained it. Left him a nylon NBN. The Bruins look like they want to use their defense to speed up this game. You know, pressuring in the full court is a great tactic if you have the horses. Otherwise, it doesn't make much sense to play full court defense, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from outside. Nope. He gets the rebound. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Nice rejection. Gave it up. About four minutes remaining on the game clock. Now try to feed the low block. Knocks it down. They work the perimeter. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot and come up short. Riley receives the pass. Jumper off the mark. On the outside. The freshman's a bit careless with the ball. Three minutes left in the game clock. Goes up for two. Excellent jump shot right there. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Rejects it. Loose ball. Great play. Number 20 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Opportunity now for an easy one. Makes the first. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. From the top of the circle. They got it. Gave it up. Two minutes left on the game clock. He runs the fast break. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Here comes the ball screen. On the dribble, gives it up. Now on the run. Number 23 takes the pass. The missed shot. Hill handles the pass. Gave it up. One minute left on the game clock. He pulls up with a jumper. Misses a shot from in close. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. He's money with the shot. Looking for a good shot. Puts up the tray. Off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up with it. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. 
Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. There's the rejection. Shot clock is dead. Cross court. Clock shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. He fouled him. Number zero steps to the line for the first time. Sinks it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. It's two at the charity strike. Pushes it up. Traps and plays, Dick. With a big shot. He misses it. the half. The Hoyas are down by eight. And here's our game summary. We've seen a lot of action and some impressive play here today. A look at these numbers can give you an idea of who's been doing what. UCLA did a heck of a job shooting that ball in the first half. I mean, no doubt about it. These boys are given too much time to shoot. If you ask me, they basically have time to wait and get a good shot. The defense was non-existent, Mr. Nestler. Going with a man-to-man -man full court press now, Dick. The Hoyas have a three-point shooter spotting up. Inside. And the slam. Hey, look out below, baby. Oh, my. Trying to pack it inside. And now the fadeaway jumper. Jumper won't go. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. The Bruins have done a great job at the offensive end. Specifically, they were able to push the ball in transition and exploit the opposition's inability to get back on defense. Dick, you mentioned this earlier as an important point, and sure enough, it's made a difference. Let's see if they can keep it up in the second half. Thanks, Aaron. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. They're working around the arc. up the J. Gets the J to fall. They're working around the perimeter. For the bucket. Scorches the net. How about that drive to the hoop, Dick? When you drive with conviction, good things happen. Sometimes it's the basket, sometimes you get fouled. On the outside. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. He draws a foot. What a facial on that one. You know, seniors are a dying breed in college basketball these days. If you're a coach that's lucky enough to have a couple, it can definitely help you sleep at night knowing there are guys on your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful. They've got him trapped here, Dick. Look at that trap, Brad. Pushes it up. Definitely a foul. He got the layup to go and the foul is called. Hey, he saw that he was going to get fouled, but he stuck to the path in spite of it. The Hoyas are a pretty good free throw shooting team, Dick. Too many games are lost from the charity strike. As a coach, it's good knowing that you have players on your roster who can knock them down. Trying to feed inside. He pulls the trigger. Perfectly executed. Gave it up.
shoots it. And he missed. Ali receives the ball. Number 44 is he gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. He goes to the line. Count it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. They've got him right where they want him, Dick. Pushes it up. Arm and foul. A chance for two. It's the first. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Cross court. Tries for two. Busts the jumper. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. I think they're trying to make a statement. Number four is going to the line. Gets the first shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. that opportunity either. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Nice pass to the low block. Nails the J. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Cross court. Unloads. And score it. Hill handles the feed. Dumps it in. He shoots the jumper. Off the mark. The small forward handles the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Loose ball saved. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Moving it around the perimeter. The Hoyas have a player spotting up on the three. Up and inside. Now the turnaround jumper. 
Missed the jumper. He bombs from outside. The missed shot. The shooting guard gets the ball. Look at that spacing. He shoots from right of the circle. Scores it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And the jam. The Hoyas are getting some great opportunities to score when they get the ball in a high post. Well, they manufactured that basket through the high post. I guarantee you that they work on it every day in practice. Tries a three. The Bruins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for three. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Gave it up. And we got a whistle with a foul. Number three to the charity line. Gets his first. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. There's a double team waiting there. Number 44 is whistled for the foul. Step to the line for the free throw. Cashed it in. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Both free throws go. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Number 44 picks up the foul. He goes to the line for the first time. It's that one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's him a nylon, NBN. Number 13, handles the feed. Trying to go inside. He takes the fadeaway. It's no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. Hard foul. Now let's check back in now on our Star Watch player. Get an easy one here. He buries it. 
No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Gets the second. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. With the block. Dick, they're going to have to sit him down. He's got to watch himself. He's no good to his team on the bench. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. The Bruins seem like they want to play this game at the next level on defense, Dick. Hey, look out for the full court pressure, Brad. It'll be interesting to see how the pressure will be handled. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The small forward with the ball. He puts up the J. He misses the jumper. Inside for two. Makes it. There's a look at the current tempo for the game. Hey, Brad, that doesn't surprise me. The pace has been quite hectic. On the dribble, gives it up. He attempts the jump shot. On the inside, goes up for two. Knocks it down. A great drive to the hoop right there, Dick. That's a great job, Brad. Using his athleticism to get to the hoop and convert. The Hoyas are trailing as we go to the timeout. Stay tuned for more NCAA action right after this. I wouldn't mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. He tries the jumper. They get it to go. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Bed the low block. There he's at home. And there's sort of a snapshot of our game tempo. It's definitely been a slower paced game, Brad. Very few opportunities to push the ball. Cross court. Jumper, knocked it down. He shoots from the corner. The Bruins have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Number 23 takes the pass for the bucket. He nails the bucket. The Hoyas are getting some great opportunities to score when they get the ball in the high post. They got the ball into the high post, and the defense couldn't react on time, Brad. And he can't hit the shot. The point guard takes the pass, working it around the perimeter. He fades away. He misses the fadeaway. 
on the dribble, gives it up. Goes up. Busts the J. He's getting lost on every move. We're going to see more heart on defense. Looking for a good shot. The Bruins will probably consider modifying their play style here and go to a more conservative approach. A half-court attack, Dick, especially given the time. Great block shot. Two shots. Makes the foul shot. They are nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Yes, two at the charity strike. And a momentary look from three-point land. He pulls up with a jumper. Foul charge. Steps to the line for an easy one. Makes it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. And he got them both. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. Makes the shot. The Bruins will play up-tempo at one end and in the half court at the other end. Wouldn't you agree, Dick? Brad, they like to balance the top. They don't feel like they can always play up-tempo or always play in the half. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. On the right side. Dumps it in. There was no doubt about that one. About seven minutes remaining on the game clock. On the outside, from three-point land, the Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Out on the wing. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Jumper won't go. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nope. The shooting guard with the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Off the backboard. Six minutes left on the game clock. Looking for a good shot. He goes for three. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He unloads a three. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. A little two-man action. There's the trap. He puts up the three ball. The Bruins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple.
about ready to hit the floor. On the wing. They'll work it around the arc. For two. Too strong. Side. He shoots the jumper. They're having an extremely tough time from the field here today, Dick. Wow, I'm speechless, Brad. You know, that never happens. I don't know what to say. They couldn't be shooting the ball any worse. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. With the J, the friendly bouncers aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. Number three receives the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great shot. Cross court. Loose ball. Saves it. Great play. About three minutes remaining. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. in front to take it away moving it around the perimeter he blocks the shot the shooting guard with the ball this moment's brought to you by our friends at State Farm gave it up tries for two off the mark for two, off the mark with that shot. Georgetown is now in the bonus. He'll look at a pair of free throws. He hits it. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Either. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. He goes up with it. About two minutes from it. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Up and inside. And we're going the other way. They're set the inbounds from the baseline. the shot
One minute left on the game clock. He hammers it home. Pushes it up. Out of bounds and a change of possession. Throws it up. He finished out with a beautiful alley-oop, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. With a bucket. The shot's off target. Here's the three ball. Blair picks up the defensive foul. The seventh team foul. He is going to the line. Hits that one. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. It's the second. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Gets his third. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. And let's go back out onto the floor. He tries the three ball. Nails the jumper. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Now they work it around the perimeter. That concludes our coverage of the consolation round. We're lucky enough to see a lot of great basketball. Until next time, folks, it's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody. Let's check in right now, Dick, and look at our players of the game. I tell you, they were both great here today, Brad. Both ends of the court, a real treat to watch.